Okay, so I got asked this question from what I'd call an advanced spiritual seeker. They um, enjoy being, uh, uh, or they have the peace of being, and there's lots of love and gratitude and loving duality. And I'll just frame that as um, as the ego dissolves, um, the sense of a personal identified self starts to dissolve. And uh, uh, the presence, a presence uh, starts to be uh, recognized uh, that can be uh, of the qualities of infinite peace, infinite love, uh, infinite presence, infinite stillness. And um, and all and you know they can be, as the sense of an individual self starts to dissolve, you know, an over uh, at certain stages an overwhelming experience of love uh, can be present, and um, it's like it's like um, there's just love, there's just love in every moment. So it's hard to use words in a non-dualistic way. I mean, th there's love and everything is lovable and everything is love and and love is everywhere and love is always. So it's like, and and the love is seen everywhere and is everything and is everyone and is and is also beyond things and one as it's always a, more like a constant state that permeates everything. Uh, and uh, there is love. I mean, there's love and joy and presence and everything, shall we say, is witnessed to be love, love or self or, and um, so that can be labeled in different ways, like there's a love for duality. Uh, but what's what's happening is um, everything, everything is sort of becoming love. Uh, and as the individual self dissolves, and one can sort of say that there's a me that's loving others, but everything is seen to be shining with love, and everything is seen to be equally beautiful and stunning. And so, you know, if you to use words, it's like a love of love of life, love of everything, and everything is the self. So it's kind of a, you could use the words the love of duality, or I suppose the context of that would be it's. Um, even though there, there is experiencing, um, there's a love in the experiencing, uh, and 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 love is everything, and 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 love is all. So um, yeah, so for me, it's a beautiful. I mean, it's a it's a complete state. As you get to the higher, the higher levels, they all seem complete as they are. So just to be an eternal state of of love and witnessing love and seeing everything as love. And having a constant loving presence and uh, the ind individuated self dissolving, I mean, uh, you know, it, it, it's a whole state. It could be like that for all eternity, and that would be fine. Um, and sometimes, so, and often when uh, because the ego is now dissolving, uh, for some, um, as Hawking said, you know, it's quite common for a year or two of just endless crying. As as everything is seen to be so exquisitely beautiful and, and lovable, that it's like tears just flow through at the at uh, the witnessing of love everywhere in all things. So that's a beautiful a beautiful state, um, uh, uh, and uh, it's wonderful. Yeah, and there's joy and there's love and um, sometimes the kitten might be speaking or interacting and and that's full of love as well. So I think that's just wonderful. Yeah, I think that's just wonderful. And um, it's a complete state. So if that carried on, that would be enough. Uh, so these states, as you get into the more beatific states, are enough in themselves. Infinite peace can go on for all eternity, it seems, and infinite love, infinite silence, infinite or just in, infinitely experiencing uh timelessly uh, the it's hard to use words the love that is everywhere and in everything and is always present equally everywhere so um yeah uh, the state of love is very is very beautiful and uh yeah very 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 beautiful yes i think that's all i can say on it i mean 
not too much to say. Uh, oh yes, there was something else I was going to share as well. Um, as these um, as these beautific states become more and more intense, you know, it, it it's like whatever whatever seems to happen because you can only use the word seem as it's a perception. Whatever seems to happen is whatever seems to happen. So whether there's seems to be talking happening to what seems to be others uh, and communication, then that happens. And if that doesn't happen, that doesn't happen. And at a certain point, it's kind of um, from an inner place, it's kind of irrelevant whether talking happens or talking doesn't happen. Um, in some talking happens, in some talking doesn't happen, in some um, uh, it seems like what seems to be the personality sticks around and speaks to others and, and some other instances uh, there could be seclusion and just not speaking to anyone and just blissing out and that's enough um, it, uh, why does one have well there's there's a context and there's uh, proclivities I mean some may go in at certain stages may go into deep bliss and 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 be in a in a hut in the middle of nowhere and just uh dwell in that bliss idea deep and deeper and some may and sometimes uh, there may be um maturing if you like and um something seems to speak to others and others seem to speak to to whatever uh one is you know you could say one one is not that but uh you know speaking happens I think that's all beautiful. Yeah, it's really wonderful. Very, very profound state.